here's the test. You can see um, I fired up about right here, and so then that's kind of considered my top. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my strap there, there, and then on the opposite side, kind of there and there. You can kind of see I got a little bit of my button over there. But we're going to have a root, a face, a root, and a face bend. So we'll have four bends out of it. First thing I'll do is I will come over here and I will, you know, I measure it out. It's what I do. I, I, you know, there's a certain half inch diameter distance they want right here. And then they want this right here to be eight inches. Because that's usually what it is to bend inside the strap bender. But we're going to go ahead and just make our little slots. And then we're going to cut our straps out. And then we'll clean our straps up and show you what it takes to demonstration the uh, destruct and test things. My little friend. <laughs> He's already spinning a web off the corner there. Little sucker. What do you think you're just gonna move in, bud? You think you can just spin your web right here and move in now? Bam. No tears, no porosity. You can actually see where the puddle actually spread right there. That one's good. That was a bead bin. All right. Moving right along to the next bead bin. Nope, cap bin. Bead bin. Remember, that right there has to be in the center of that right there when you bend. bead bin look it's got a little tiny tear it's really hard to see there's a little tiny tear yep sometimes we're not perfect right on the edge I got a little tiny tear but guess what it's within code bro maybe if it was B313 they might not accept that all right these are cap bins so we'll put the root in the cap tiny bit right there see it we're not perfect for humans man but I almost get it perfect for not That's my last strap, that was my cap. You see it, it's just barely. Now most of the time, you come over here, inspector, after you're done taking your test like this, he's gonna line them all up like that. And they're gonna add those little tiny specks up. And guess what, if those little specks add up to 1 16th or 1 8th of an inch, depending on the code, you might not get the job. It might, they might want a flawless test. They might not even want to see a speck in there. So it's really going to be up to the, the welding inspector that's testing your test if you're going to pass. Um, for me, personally, that's a fail. Try it again tomorrow. It will be a face bend, and the two punches will be a root bend. That way you guys know I'm not cheating here and trying to pull some wool over your eyes. This is the actual physical test strips, no Hollywood magic here. Show them that. Right? It's a little uneven up here, but that's okay. Don't try to correct that because you might mess it up. Same thing. Clamp it on the other side. 
Down your quarter just a little bit. Starts looking like once you take all the burrs off. Now that, what did I say it was, root? I forget, uh, or face. Okay, well whatever it is, yeah. I'm gonna say it's root. One dot is root, so that means you need to take the root completely off and the face, uh, usually down to just like a 32nd, but we'll go ahead and take it all the way off and we'll know that the dots is what is what. The one dot is bead, which means we bend it from this side, okay? So at this point right now, a bead bin they want you to keep it about like that show it try to show it fairly anything on it that's a bead bin right. that's how the cap looks like same thing take it all the way flush on top and then on the inside leave it just a little bit the pipe I was wondering what that little lip was. That's a, that's a seam of the pipe. I'll probably have to grind. I just took just some of it away because we're going to bend it like that. Whatever angle. Hey, measuring tool. Yeah, look how tiny these straps are, huh? What they want, man. Trust me, it blows my includes my my foot strap. And a lot of things too is you can look right here on the side of material, and you can tell if there's any trash in there or if it's clean. Because if it's clean, it's going to look like the bare metal. But if there's trash in there, you'll see it. Looks pretty clean to me. And the bead and the caps look in there. That includes my only four straps I cut out of the test. <laughs> That's. Strap one, root, face. Ba bam. So just so you know, there was no Hollywood magic there. Uh, there's the coupon I cut the straps out of. I didn't cut any extra ones out of it, and that was all of them there. And then there's the one I that I did a little bit hotter that, that day, and we didn't test that one yet, but we will get to it. There's all your straps, baby. <laughs> 